Today is Cinco de Mayo, and the parties are getting underway already in Tulsa. Two News reporter Dan Perlman is live downtown, where one of those parties is just now getting started. Hey, Dan. Hey, what's going on? We're out here at 4th and Cheyenne, just outside of Casa Laredo, where they're putting the finishing touches on the party right now. I think things really should start picking up here in the next few minutes. Right now, I'm joined by the owner of the restaurant, Guillermo Rojas. Guillermo, thank you very much for joining us. What's going to be going on out here in a few minutes? So we are going to have an authentic Cinco de Mayo here in Fort and Cheyenne. And everybody is invited. We got a lot of uh, live music. We have a very authentic uh, Mexican food. And Cinco de Mayo, you know, it's not the Independence Day of Mexico. It is the anniversary of the Battle of Puebla. All right. Now, I know you guys are going to have, you said music, there's going to be dancing as well. Are you going to get out there and do some of the dancing? Sure, I'll dance with everybody. Besides that, we are going to have um, uh, salsa instructors. Then we are going to have a um, dancing contest. It will be very good. We, we are prepared and we were working for a long time about the, the real authentic Cinco de Mayo. Great. Now, Andrew, obviously, Cinco de Mayo is about more than just the party itself. There's symbolic meaning to it also. What is that? Cinco de Mayo, it's the, the, the Mexicans celebrate the Battle of Puebla. They win that battle. with the, Then after that, USA helped a lot. <laughs> and right. also, you know, the Cinco de Mayo, it's important to bring some more people to downtown. We are, uh, I believe in the future of downtown. It's very important, and the people have to participate much more here. That's the reason why we decided to do Cinco de Mayo, to bring people. They, they will have to, to take downtown like something part of them. All right, great. Thank you very much, Guillermo, for joining us. Now, I know there's going to be about 2,000 people throughout the day down here. It's going to go until 11 o'clock in the street, and then they're going to take things inside to the restaurant. There are a couple other celebrations going on. There's a tent on Elgin outside of El Guapos. That party gets underway at 11. There will also be celebrations in Brookside and along Cherry Street as the day goes on. Live downtown, Dan Perlman, 2 News, works for you.